Talia Tungavaloa had a performance to remember for Maryland football on Saturday. After not recording a touchdown in last week's win against Buffalo, Tungavaloa scored five touchdowns in Saturday's game against Charlotte, leading Maryland to a 56-21 victory over the 49ers. Tungavailoa got into a rhythm early with his veteran receiving core. Tungavailoa aired the deep ball out to Jacob Copeland twice in the first half, both of which resulting in long touchdown passes. Tungavailoa also got Jay Sean Jones heavily involved in the action, throwing two touchdowns to the senior. On the day, Tungavailoa finished with 391 yards through the air, four passing touchdowns, a rushing touchdown, and on top of all that, his 87.1 completion percentage was the highest single game completion percentage in Maryland history. Uh, Leah did a really good job of uh, the ball location on some of the deep shots that we've kind of uh, didn't have the timing down with a week ago, so it was good to see us, as I say, make that jump from week one to week two on the offensive side of the ball. Today, you know, it was more so, um, I feel like we made most of our opportunities count. Um, not just myself, but us as an uh, offense, you know, with our O-line receivers, running backs, tight ends. And um, yeah, we won the game, so that's the biggest thing. It wasn't just the passing game that made explosive plays for Maryland. Antoine Littleton picked up right where he left off against Buffalo, rumbling for a 59-yard touchdown in the first quarter. And Colby McDonald collected his first touchdown of the year in the third. The Maryland offense as a whole combined for 617 yards on 62 plays Saturday averaging about 10 yards per play, and went 7 for 9 on third downs, all of which were significant improvements from week one against Buffalo. The players that understand our system executed at a high level. A week ago, we had too many lapses of where we'd have big plays and then the negative plays. But, you know, we got in, got it fixed. And, and as I said a week ago, you typically see your biggest improvement from week one to week two. And I saw that out of our offense and was pleased that we were able to get, get it done and play the way we played today. Maryland will look to take this offensive momentum back to the shell next Saturday as they host SMU under the lights. For Terrapin Sports Central from Charlotte, I'm Nathan Schwartz.